Hello, everybody. Happy Friday to you. This is the very first Upgrade Yo Live. Uh, because we do like to add our flavor onto things here, right? So uh, this is our very first one, you guys. If you are not familiar with Bob, you absolutely and 100% need to be. Um, Bob is the author of Conscious Language. He is, it, but it does not stop there, right? There's an entire sector of knowledge that Bob comes with that is nothing short of life transforming. I am an example. Mike is an example. Nora is an example. Nora got her perfect bed from conscious language. Five-year-olds can do it. I'm saying that. Five-year-olds, it almost comes natural to them if they're in an environment that, uh, that, that helps it, right? Um, for us, we have, we've done everything from expand our business in an insane way. Like in, we expanded our business past boundaries that we even, uh, we're in a place right now I didn't ever imagine, okay? Like it's, it's just, we're in fun, fun world at this point. It's Disney world for business. Um, and aside from that, we had our, our dog was lost. We thought he passed away. We thought we saw his body. And then we use some conscious language and the next day he was home. So there's, it, it's miracles happen. Let's not act like miracles don't happen. And our language has a lot to do with it. You guys getting clear and getting pure on what, on what you desire in your life. Right, Bob. I've just talked yes. a whole lot. I don't know. I just talked a whole lot. Um, <laughs> welcome. Um, so uh, Bob, do you want to sort of talk about, what you do before we get rolling here really quick, just yep. for people that may not have, have met you yet. So um, and let's see, when I was a young boy, no, no, <laughs> I like, I like to start it like the movie, the jerk. Uh, if you <laughs> ever saw that, it's kind of like the, I've laughed many times at that. So um, let's see, 1968 um, in college, my second year in college, I studied the Hopi language as a, well, a professor had pity on me and uh, cause I had long hair and I was in the business school and they were picking on me. And so he gave me four credit hours of a long story short. Um, I was into the Hopi Indians at that point. Now I can tell you because it was so, I was so cosmic. Yeah, right. But back then I just didn't like the idea of Vietnam War of fighting against fighting. The Hopi were, had over 5,000 years of unbroken years of peace. The word Hopi means peace, the Hopi Indians. And anyway, so he invited me to his office and he said, I'll give you four credit hours of a, what would you like to write about? I said to Hopi Indians, he picks up a book off his desk and hands it to me called Language, Thought, and Reality by Benjamin Lee Wharf. Four tribes he was studying as an engineer on what, how their language shapes their thought, which shapes their reality. So I took this book and I was like, I don't really want to write about their language. Their language is like, you know, whatever. Big words that didn't translate. No, and, but he, he won. So I went home and started studying the Hopi language and especially Worf's study and his uh, teacher, Sapir. And it, it took me a year and a half to write my thesis. I, he gave me, when I finally wrote my thesis, he gave me the lowest grade he's ever given anyone, which is a C minus, because all I would do is take quotes out of the book because it was such a big deal for me. So fast forward to now, in, in the interim, what I realized is language does shape our thoughts, which shapes our reality. <clears throat> been at it for, since 68, studying it aware, you know, st step by step. But then around 83, 1983, and I've been full on sharing consciousness and all that my adult life, I finally found a way to describe what language is. It's an operating system. And uh, once computers came out, I could do that. So tonight and today or whatever time it is where you are tonight, I'm going to say it's after five or after four there and wherever people are. So, <clears throat> What's fun about this, and what's fun about this relative to young living, for me, is the, literally the, the words we speak is, are listened to by the universe. And when we shift one word, sometimes we can change our entire reality. And, and you know, until somebody experiences that, it's like, oh, sure, whatever. And once we get into it, it's, you know, it, the, the shift is so profound. That's what... 
you know, for me, if it was just language, I would have been, you know, wouldn't have been at it for 50 years. I would have said, here's a book or two, have at it. But it was deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper discovering that there's actually the language of our heart, which is already a done deal. And then there's the attempt at speaking right, which doesn't work at all. The right wrong is how we got the, the what I call the Babel language. I call it the Babel virus. Interesting on the thing on viruses going on right now is those are thought, word, emotional patterns. <clears throat> so our planet right now is collapsing the belief in separation and death. That's what's going on right now. We're in the best possible seat there is for this. And to add, this is such a big deal for me. It's so intimate, so important. You've been with me, you know, I'm, I mean, this is real. This is not yes. big or bako. Yeah. Um, when I work with a group, and, and that's what we're gonna do here tonight is specificity, conscious language and success. And this is the intro. So what I've done, and you've got the links, we've got all kinds of ways for people to deep dive into this. And it seems in the beginning, I'll share this before we go deeper. It seems like people are gonna learn conscious language, learn how to say it right, and that doesn't work. And it'll be a remembering versus a learning. That's really important. It'll be, if everybody can just say, you know, a lot of you're, if you're not in a, a, a coffee shop and they're gonna think you're really weird, <laughs> you can say out loud, <clears throat> I can see it now. Oh, there are seven people over there going, I remember, I remember. <laughs> it might, might not be the way to go, but anyway. <laughs> I have uh, many, many coffee shop stories on this kind of stuff. Anyway, so the difference between I'm learning, learning, and remembering, remember means it comes from within me. And like if I earn my wage, I'm getting it from outside. So what this is about is a remembering. And when I got this piece, when I got that, you know, pure speech is what scripture says, and I use scripture, not religion in that way. <clears throat> I will return to you pure speech is what scripture says, Zephaniah 3.9. And I really believe that happens in the moment of right here and right now when we call upon I am, the name of the Lord, which is I am that I am, my version anyway, in me, and it shall be done unto us. So if everyone can get that right now, new choices are knocking on our door. And new choices, in other words, a shift, a change, usually if I'm going, well, it got so bad I had to change, that's being motivated by pain Therefore, I have to change. That works. Not my highest choice. So then I can go, all right, <clears throat> to eventually, and I'm saying everybody like, jump in now and be motivated by benefit. What motivates me? So if I, the way I do it is if I could have anything right now, what would it be? If I could see anything right now, what would it be? If I could hear anything right now, what would it be? If I could read an email or get a report of anything right now, what would it be? In other words, keep the, my creative juices open to the next wave of grace, the possibilities, all that kind of stuff. So what you described, you and Mike, and what you've been able to do and your daughter, of, you know, you started making choices and however that's come about, you've done it. And so anybody modeling you, that's going to be an important piece. That's like, for me, I only... Uh, it's probably not true. And yet I, I really love working with people that aren't using me as their success. They use a system. That's why I call my company Mastery Systems because I, I share a system that somebody jumps into and they get their own victory. So tonight, what I'm suggesting we do in this, you know, I have a thing called Seven Upgrades to Victory and Seven Upgrades to Victory, and I've got it written down so I remember it, but it's step one is make a conscious choice. That's kind of what tonight is. In that system, and everybody, you can get that as a video series. Step two is match to your high, high agreements. This is like, I'm secure. I'm always honored. I'm always it's really amazing things that how many of us have been in situations we weren't living our high agreements. Like, look at our government right now, obviously coming to our high agreements. They're it's not whatever. And then confirm with our sacred body language translation. And you got to see this, Martha. Yes, when we were up there in Cedar Rapids. And how accurate is body language? Oh, a hundred percent. It's it's enlightening. It is insane to me how spot on our body is communicating with everybody else beyond the words that we choose to say. It's it it's every it's amazing. It's amazing, you guys. Yeah, and I mean, and just take that. Like for me, a conscious language, high agreement, sacred body language. When people 
people awaken to their, their own skill of it. Like, all right, my new choice is this. It doesn't match my high agreement. Who, you know, like I'm, I'm always respected, something like that. And then my make my choice and my body will say yay or nay. If it's it, like I'm, my new choice is I'm a triple Royal <laughs> crown cosmic diamond. It might be <clears throat> I buy my new vehicle or it might be I relax about cash flow. Or it might be that my family's happy. Or it might be that instead of lose weight, I trim up or I start to wear a size, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. See, because we've been taught not to lose. Yeah. I mean, you guys are up there. When we were up there, like, you know, as a kid, I was taught, don't lose your mitten, which was lose my mitten. That's what I heard. Bob, don't <laughs> lose your gloves. Lose my gloves. That's what I heard. <laughs> you know, like right now, everyone, don't think about pink elephants. Don't do it. Oh, stop. <laughs> I know. especially the ones floating from the left to the right with pink ears and yellow spinning tail don't think of it see so the don't is red you know like loud so even the word insane clear those are cliches or when when uh trump goes incredible it's incredible it's incredible it's, and um, for me i'm going all right i vote victory i see perfection and it means without credibility yeah so not wrong but what would happen if we move from these words of you're going to let's kill it into, you know, what was the one we came up with? I've stopped saying let's kill it. Yeah, let's what, own it. Let's own, own it. this. That's so good. I just remember that. I mean, that when, when you got that, it was like, yeah, and that's the one. Because in other <laughs> words, something shifted in me. So the body language piece for me is I will feel uh, when I have, I'll, I'll give you a, this is a really intimate thing. So <clears throat> this is about, um, this is 1986, and I'd been engaged to a woman for three years, and it was not the real deal. It wasn't working out. It wasn't fun for either one. I'm not saying she's bad, just it, we weren't the mix. And so I finally went just in anguish, massive anguish, and I sat in my uh, home, and I said, all right, what's up? What's up? And I did my first language coaching on myself. I didn't have, anyway, so I said, all right, so I'm saying I am the perfect relationship now made manifest. I'm doing that five, sometimes eight hours a day while I'm driving. I'm doing it all day long, and it is not even, I'm not even close in my relationship to perfect. So I said, what, maybe, and so anyway, I was, I'm going to say I was divinely inspired, not necessarily from my little self, but I said, so all right, what do these words mean to me? I am I, I is God, M is action, all right, I am, that was cool, the, I didn't know that was separate, I didn't know that then, I am the, I am the, all right, I am the, I was just fine, I didn't know to coach it, I could have said my, I am the, and then I went perfect relationship, and I was like, I don't have a clue, it sounds great, I don't, so <clears throat> all of my mentors, which are saints and sages, and Christ, and all that, none of them were in relationship, so I'm sitting here decreeing for three freaking years I am the perfect relationship now made manifest and literally literally I had no reference at all or feeling at all in me for that pattern wow. so that's what this is why this is so important so then I just God I was, I was like all right all right all right well you know for me I was like God I'm serving you whether I ever have a partner or not or not and then my heart spoke and I now know and it I'm gonna cry so cool so cool. Oh, my victory. I said, I, I can, I'm going to keep talking. So I get my voice back on. I'm like, come on, boys, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I can do it. I can do it. So I said, I am my love life, my life of love. Wham. I just, ah. Oh. And then I was just, all right, God. And if this person exists, if there is my beloved on this planet, my planet, our planet, then she gets to ask me. 12 days later, she asked me. And it was somebody that I've known for years and years and years, somebody that was way too pretty, way too sexual, way too strong, way too freaking opinionated. And I hated her. And she was my best um, support and sponsor whenever I went to Annapolis, Maryland. And within 12 days, she said, what's the possibility of you and I? And I, I saw my life in gold. Oh, I mean, I, in a way, I was you know, sitting on a hill, was having a conversation. <clears throat> my whole life unfolded in gold. So... I mean, our hearts are hooked up, every one of us. And so we might, well, I get to improve that and do that. Yeah, 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 you can have all that. Mm -hmm. But if we will take our heart's top number one priority and 
and be specific about it. So for me, it was like, you know, I am the perfect relationship. Now may manifest. Another thing about our subconscious, our feeling world, our feeling world is like a three year old. So I am the perfect relationship. Now may manifest. Oh, like our three year old little ones around that running around are going to be going, dad, I am the perfect. No, they're going to go me hungry, daddy, or something like that. So when I said, I am my love life, my life of love, and of course you're going, hello, there's your love life right there. Notice that that's your love life, yes? Oh, yeah, I guess yeah. so. Well, I'm <laughs> seen in a new way. That's what that was, a little body. Oh. <laughs> Male side, alone, yeah. Uh, anyway, so my, the reason this is so important for me is I didn't learn it from anybody. I, did, I got a piece, another piece, another piece, another piece, like, wow. If I say something that I don't have a reference for in my feeling world, that's up here in my body, then scripturally it says the angels of the air are bound and unable to do our bidding, or it says they're freed or loosed to do our bidding by our words alone. Wow. So when I went, I am my life, love life, my lo life of love, within 12 days, it manifested. My sister came to me struggling with relationship or anyway, she had gotten pregnant. They were sailing around the world. Uh, her husband left her. Uh, she had her child. Um, she was choosing to find her partner and, you know, doing all the right stuff. She way involved in Tony Robbins. And I said, all right, I'll do a little work with you. So I, I did the same version for her. She found her words of her already having her beloved 12 days later. Interesting. Her, her, she put up a, a birthday party on for herself. Her name was Swedish name for Karen, which is, or Karen, which is Karen. And her, one of her employees at one of her businesses brought a date, and which ended up being her beloved. His name is Kieran, Swedish, a Swedish name, Kieran and Karen. Fascinating. So <clears throat> what I'm sharing with everyone is our hearts are hooked up already. We don't have to learn how to say it. That's not, you know, that's not important. And when um, when Martha talk about Martha and my shifting beyond what we thought was possible, let's just take a look at what Scripture. And when I use Scripture, everybody, I'm just I'm not talking about religion uh, at all. I'm talking about this book that's the best quantum physics law book there is. Period. So please, please just own that or make that real for you because it's true for me. So you know, like if, if I pick something as doable, reasonable, and possible and it's not my highest choice, I will already be self-sabotaging myself. So, what, what, you know, like when we do something that's extraordinary, there's I will pour you out a blessing greater than you can contain, pressed down and overflowing is what the universe says. Greater than we can contain. In other words, our, our cognitive function, oh, I thought I just looked up and I thought you made the ascension. You went out of you went out of the picture. It was awesome. <laughs> but then you brought this little one back on. I brought him on. That. So, <laughs> I mean, gee whiz. So for me, I'm going, all right, I will pour you out a blessing greater than you can contain. Man, oh man. So if we can all just gear up that that's how much we're loved. We're loved beyond measure. I mean, pressed down and overflowing. And if we pick a goal that we, well, I'm going to pick something that's doable, reasonable, and possible, that's not wrong. It just isn't enough. It, the way I look at it is the only way that we're going to let our world happen with ease and grace, grace means, scripturally means without effort, by grace, it will be that we pick something that's our highest choice. And only our highest choice is funded by the universe, funded by God already agreed to by all hearts everywhere. That's what our highest choice is. Way cool. Yeah. And so <clears throat> in this thing of awakening and remembering the language of our heart, there's, you know, there's some things that we can learn to do, like move from I want to I choose or I have, you know, instead of it feels, I feel, it's, that's a biggie, that's actually huge. You know, I am my love life, my life of love. I am my, that just came out of my heart. And I am the perfect relationship now made manifest. When I evaluate, there's nothing in me. Like, look, mom and dad, look at all my married friends. I thought that none of them were perfect. They weren't wrong. They just weren't perfect. And I am my love life, my life of love. 
everything in my being said yes at that point without any rationale of why it's going to happen. And I simply spoke it a couple times because I felt great saying it. And within 12 days, she asked me. And it was someone that I haven't even recognized, recognized in my world. She was powerfully in my world. She had just came to explore a relationship with me. At the day that I was saying that, she was on her way to do a 12-day class with me. And I didn't even have a clue that that was an option. I had to come into my alignment before I'd realize alignment. Well, this is true for all of our successful lives, our healthy families, our healthy selves, our a wonderfully harmonious world. In other words, it's inside of every one of us waiting for agreement and feeling the meaning in each word deeply enough. Have a share for a while. That was long for me. Yeah, that's that until we actually, I, I love that you were talking about the um, uh, being in alignment with it and really, you talk so much better than I do. <laughs> yeah. And I know, I know, Canson, thank you. Um, whenever we're in alignment with it, when we can, when we can believe it, when we can put ourselves in those shoes, when we can live in that reality, whether that's what we actually physically see in 3D or not, when we can actually live in that space, it all, as we're using this language, it all literally starts coloring in around you. It's almost like, do you remember that movie with Robin, Robin Williams, What Dreams May Come? Yes, absolutely. That's what it feels like. Oh, I just got goosebumps too. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're creating this masterpiece around you as you're using the language, the pure speech, using the language that can then have those things happen. You have to be, you have to be in the place of it though and being in alignment with it because like you said, I, I was talking about a little bit earlier on a different live that I did where somebody that's in the, in the mindset of problems I've got these problems, I've got this struggle and da da da, can't see even if the solution comes right up next to him, can't even see that solution because you're just not on the same wavelength. That solution will be like right there, ready for you, right? But you can't even be in the same place as the solution if you're not, if you're not open to it. That's the way, that's the way that I see things anyway. So that was whenever you were talking about alignment, that's the way I see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to share. You gave me a lot to work with just then. So, <laughs> and by the way, um, when Martha, when you spoke, which is common, and so I'm not bringing it up for the reason of right, wrong. It, that, that, it, that, it, that, that, it is, is, I'm going to say the same, is that thing that we're supposed to. No, no, no. So if everyone can just say it feels, and if you'll say it, just say it feels. It feels. I feel. I feel. So as we begin to produce, we, we can talk all about something, but that's the language of commentary. And then there's the language of creation. And I'm getting to the point now where I'm slowing down. I mean, my percentages must be really different at this stage of the game because I'm realizing every word is a prayer coming into manifestation. So the description, and when we and it, that, and when we get close to that, and then we get that. And when somebody speaks in this, that, these, them, they, those, it, the, I tend to go away. In fact, I, I share this with you. Western Michigan University, 1967, my first orientation at college at Western Michigan. Um, we're sitting with all the new freshmen and all the seniors and the upper class people are surround this big, huge, brand new auditorium. So they're in the, the, the doorways looking in and the president of the school, uh, you know, the, the, the student president comes on and unbeknownst to us, he's a master at double talk. And he walks up to the podium and he goes, all right, welcome everyone. Uh, the, that that you're here for is really important to relate to it that way. And if you don't quite understand it and the approach that you might, you will find that it just won't happen in the way that you would like it to happen if you're going to do that at all. Now, some, I mean, I made that up just now, but I'm literally where there, these are arc rows and here's all these new students going, I, I'm, I'm at least for me, I was going, I'm not ready for school. 
<laughs> oh, I don't, I mean, pretty soon people start, he did it for 45 minutes. He never made one complete sentence. He would always talk about it relating to that, which is it, those, that, <clears throat> I mean, now I understand how he did it. And literally for 45 minutes, all the, this, the upper class people are looking at us and we're like looking around going, I don't have a clue. I haven't understood one word he said. So <clears throat> whenever, if I say, well, you know, that, that story that we talked about yesterday, somebody in their mind has to go back and reference it. So I call it, these are the domains I've given this great handout, which you'll share with everyone, the PDF. Mm -hmm. uh, in there, there's a thing called the domains of language, the domain of T's, the letter T, or this, that, these, they, those, they, them, it, the, and the, uh, are separators. So if everyone can say, mm, my, our, I, I am, that you own it for you, and that's one of the ways, that's one. And that's so funny. Um, <laughs> speaking, um, speaking in first person personal is my way of feeling what I say, feeling the meaning, my meaning in each word deeply enough. So as you know, like I am my love life, my life of love. Notice my love life, my life of love worked. And I didn't have a clue about this, that, these, them. I didn't get it. I just, what I love is you don't have to learn this stuff what will happen is you get safe and secure enough where your heart will speak and you will let it out without editing it or making it right or wrong. And when that happens, that's why th this training I do called All For You, which we're exploring, bringing to our team. Um, the, like as people learn conscious language and begin to learn imagination, activation, outcome mapping, and then you know the, the next thing is to get secure enough. So if fear comes up, you love it. If want comes up, you want, I love you just the way you are. Um, this, that, these, that, you know, it feels it, 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 yo, it, I love you. In other words, mm -hmm. instead of trying to do it right, the distinction is to relax and love and only love is going to bring us online with what's true. That's number one. And then the second thing you brought up when you were speaking is many people are seemingly speaking about getting aligned. We're already aligned in our heart. You don't have to believe anything. You just be alive in it. So if everybody can imagine our creator is in us as us, our true self, our anointed self, whatever name you give it. And thriving is the only truth for any of us. Mm. The only spiritual truth is thriving. Yeah, you know, when I worked with Marcel von Harding and we, you know, built the beginning of um, Highest Potential Academy, and she would talk about network uh, marketing. And I said, let's call it network thriving because it's really, that's the outcome. The outcome marketing is to market something. Networking, great word, network thriving is really what this earth is. It's a whole series of networks of life forms to, to literally thrive together, to, to flourish in life. That's what it's about. So if everybody can realize you can relax the saying it right, just drop that. Like, you know, I am, I am my, my, uh, whatever it was, I am the perfect, that was the right answer. I am the perfect relationship now may manifest. I went inside and went, I don't have a clue. You know, I mean, there wasn't any reference at all for, ain't even the word perfect is an absolute. You cannot define perfect without using another absolute. Mm -hmm. So only, only love is perfect, but I cannot describe perfect love, that kind of stuff. So if everybody can realize, all right, whatever I desire is already in me, awaiting expression. If everybody can just do that, whatever, and, and this is beautiful. I mean, here it was three freaking years of I am the perfect, not once, not twice a day, hours on end for a day and finally went enough is enough this sucks it did not happen hello earth to bob and then eventually i am my love life my life of love i was am still completely aligned with that statement it wasn't i get aligned no it came right out of my aligned heart and so everyone if you can my here's my my prayer my decree is each of us remember re one reconnect remember our full value and let our creator furnish our world by speaking from our own heart without any, and if we edit it, it's okay, forgive it. But instead of editing it, like eating from the fruit of the tree, the thinking of right and wrong, thinking of good and evil is the fall from grace. So how do we, we forgive all that, we love all that. We just touch it with love. 
And when we let our heart speak that, you know, there's somebody shared something with me and I choose to find it. It's an email and I only have 80 million. So <laughs> in this email, it was, a, it was a neurological study on the path of speech, that there are some paths of speech that go through the, the neurological brain. And there's another path of speech that goes through our heart. Totally different. Our tongue is the second thing to develop right out of our heart muscle develop embryologically. Yeah, like that. Yes, I should wow. say. I know. So, okay. So when I speak from my heart, you know, think about this. Eating from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge, knowledge, knowledge of right and wrong is the fall from grace. So we all came down going, all right, wrong, good, bad, hot, cold, you, me, shame, blame, guilt, whatever, or better, better, not quite good, this will do, whatever. And then now we're at this point globally, everyone, all life is coming to the point of, ooh, and our heart just says a word and it changes everything for us. Our heart speaks without it running through our thinker of right and wrong. Or is this good enough? No. I am my love life, my life of love. I'd never spoken that. And yet it was in me waiting for me to get done with all that babble crap you know, for three years, three years. And by the way, she was going through her version of that for three years, engaged to somebody that wasn't her partner for three years, identically start to finish, same exact time. Wow. So whatever I did in me was simultaneous with my beloved because we're already one. Our wealth, we're already one with our wealth. Our health, we're already one with our health. There's nothing we have to do to get healthy. Health is we just agree with I am healthy. Why do I love essential oils? Because they take, they, they amplify good, number one. They strengthen good, life, put it that way. And they also, and this is what I learned back when I was 20-some years old from my mentor, Marian Jager, and it was all about essential oils. She would say that if there's a negative thought form, limitation, fear, anger, grief, whatever, the, the pure essential oil takes that negative counterclockwise spin and makes it go clockwise. Wow. And, I, and now we know that's true. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, Jeff uh, Osler, who is out in Utah and does a lot of stuff for Mary and Gary and all that stuff, um, he said that's proven now molecularly that that's what the oils do. They make it do a hydrogen flip. They make it to go positive. So for me, I'm going, not really healing what's wrong. No, no, no. In the, in the, whatever the model is that we're compliant have to be, no, 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 we're restoring something. You know, I could have said, well, what's up with my relationship and it needs to fix. No, I'm, I try to do it right versus love. And only love is big enough to transcend, God bless us all, transcend the appearance of the illusion. Only love coalesces forgives and transcends and raises us past right and wrong. Only love does that. So, you know, your, I'm going to say our, because I'm involved, our, our team and the teams of all of us, our families, loved ones, all that, we're all in this moment of time to remember that what we desire, scripture says it this way, before you have asked, I have answered. Mm -hmm. And to me, I just, I mean, I use that statement a lot. So it's, I'm, I'm aware of it a lot, but it, and it's amazing to me that that's how much we're loved. It's amazing to me. I mean, hopefully everybody gets, before you have asked, I've answered. That is quantum physics. Yes. In the field of all possibilities, the moment I'm aware of something, a desire, the requirement, that requirement is in my field. And all I have to do is say thank you for it. Got it? I mean, so I desired my divine partner, and I said it and did everything right for three years or longer, I'm sure. Long, much longer, because I was 40, basically, when this happened. And when I finally just let my heart speak, I am my love life, my life of love. And the way I'll know, besides all the other ways that she's going to ask me, because I've screwed up enough times, whatever. And she asked me, what's the possibility? Really good. <laughs> if you could see what I could see in this gold in my own, I mean, literally. So what I'm sharing is there is, for every one of us right now, a miracle pressing in and knocking on our door. We can find the miracle by a conflict, or we can find the miracle by an urge. It doesn't matter which way we find it. Our greatest weakness should be our greatest strength. So we can't just say, my greatest weakness is improved. It's not so bad. The pain went away, kind of. That's the allopathic and whatever way. It's that when we have a pain or we have 
conflict or struggle or lack or limitation that's in our life because it's not who we are. And it's screaming us, at us to change something. And if everybody can do, all right, uh, fear of not enough wealth is me pretending to be too small for who I really am. So I have to increase my value and be magnetic. Another thing is you don't have to work or earn your living. All you have to do is live, shine, thrive, yes. love. And love is the only thing that makes us magnetic to good. Your turn. Oh, I, uh, yes. <laughs> I say yes to all of that. I want to see what some folks have been saying. Heather is on here. Heather Harbaugh is on here, who we Hi, love. Heather. Yeah. She said, uh, she already said yo, Bob, to you whenever she came on. Um, uh, the teaching changed. This is what Heather said. The teaching changed everything for me. Giving up right, wrong to God is so freeing. And I want to say yes, absolutely to that. How good does it feel to wake up in the morning and know that all we have to do, we don't have to do anything. What we get to do is walk in love all day long and see nothing but blessings. That's, that's the life that we really, truly have. When you, when, when you, and I'm, I know that you say, okay, so you don't say learn. <laughs> You guys, I am like doing this along with you guys, okay? I know you don't say learn and that you remember and that truly 100% is it. You guys, everything feels good past that point. There's not another way for me to say that your life feels good past that point. You start remembering not just purpose, you start remembering how to live out that purpose. It becomes very easy. Inspiration comes very easily. You're right there. Whenever he's talking about quantum physics, if you guys don't geek out on quantum physics yet, you will. <laughs> you will. Um, it is one of my favorite things ever. But the, the, the field of infinite possibilities is right here. And it's, it really what do you want? What do you want? And, and the thing that for me anyway, the thing that makes me happy every day is living on mission and living, living in a way that I'm able to be of service to others. And you can live in a way that's service to others and live an extraordinary life. You do not have to be like a pauper or something in order to be of service to others. You can live the life you thought you were dreaming of, but is actually your reality while you're living in service to others. That's something that I just don't know that people really understand that that's a truth, that, that, that people can actually do that. Bob, you live in service to others every single day, right? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> that's, this is our, this is the life we live, you guys. This is, you have examples in front of you of people that are doing it and could not be any happier. Could not be any happier. Um, what do you what what say you, friend? Uh, I'm gonna so about the prosperity thing. Um, I'm every word matters. Like we couldn't be happier. Yes, we could. So I'm gonna challenge that. Oh. Just, on that. just be yeah, it's all right. And just say, <laughs> oops, I recommit because it's not. Oops, a, I recommit. Yeah, yeah, it's much easier. And so we can be even happier and happier because I will pour you out a blessing. Can you imagine capping off happiness? No, that's plenty. That is enough. I mean, as a kid, <laughs> I'm going to have parents that say, you are having way too much fun, you know? And so I believe that, you know, come on out. And I have my grandbabies that are here tonight, just, just a few minutes before uh, the mama came and picked them up. We all live really close together here. Anyway, it was just fun because there, I told them, no, I'm going to be in the sink. They're out sneaking around. I can hear them in the room going, you know, the minute I said, don't come in the room, they came in. I, I couldn't get mad at them. I just remember, hey, can I, ah, whatever. All right. So <laughs> the, here's the deal about prosperity. This is, scripturally, there's ideas in there about long suffering, that to be spiritual, you have to give up. Well, let's just talk about energy. Money is just energy. And, and if you're here to heal the world or our planet or ourselves, we have to have every 
every amount of energy to have whatever we require. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, not, it, if we look at, if you look at money as right and wrong, you know, the money is the root of all evil. No, that's not what it says. It says the love of money is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, like the, did anyone up until this very second worry about not having enough air? Now, the minute I said that, how many started to go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. So, in other words, the whole planet may be worried about enough cash flow. Got it? So, why, why do we have some groups of people who have very, very not enough food, to, you know, skinny, and oh, my God. And other people like me, porked out. Got it? Because the energy's got to go somewhere. So, I'm suggesting to every single one here, Love, life, love, light, love, all energy, and just let cash flow, wealth, money, opulence, and appreciation and supply move through you, not even necessarily to you, become a stream of it. It's, I do this thing called conscious prosperity. We have a whole bunch of material in our online university on it because we're streaming now. We're, going, we're taking everything to our streaming uh, portal thing, and which is the way to go, especially for global. And... The prosperity piece is so important to get, wait a minute, if I look at trying to get money, I'm not going to have it. If, if Somebody wrote a book on the wealthy people of the world. And my beloved, when she, Helena, when she was here, she read that book. And here's what it said. It said, <clears throat> the wealthy people of the world never focused on getting money. They focused on the right use of money. Mm -hmm. They were already utilizing it and they had it. The people that focus on getting it, obviously, do you get how that blocks it? Mm -hmm. using it. So remember, if anyone wasn't worried about enough oxygen until I mentioned it, energy and oxygen and substance and appreciation and love and harmony and health on our planet globally is simply agreed to. We let it move. We am it. I am our healthy planet. I am our healthy planet. And realize that whatever illusion is knocking on our door roll relative to stuff going on. No, I say yes to my health. I see only health. And wealth and health are the exact same thing. They're not an either or, and not at all. They're exactly the same thing, exactly the same thing. So, you know, those of us who are in the middle of helping people remember their value, like, you know, anyone that would start doing this, well, I can't afford it. That is not true. That's not wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just not true. I cannot afford it is a lie. Because if I, if somebody said, well, I cannot afford 500 bucks, if somebody said that. And I said, well, and people have done it. If, if you have 500 bucks, I can show you how to make 5,000. Somebody would come up with 500 bucks in a heartbeat. Uh -huh. They have, I mean, seriously, yes, they would just do, you know, whatever. Or that, well, I really like that. I'm going to go buy, you know. Huh. So the, I can't, maybe I don't choose to invest in that right now. But if everyone can tonight realize our heart is already the oracle of our creator. And all, and there's a scriptural thing, and probably going to end it on this note. Scripturally, it says, seek ye first, not religion. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, which is in our heart. And it's righteousness, right ye use, right action, and all else should be added unto us. And I mean, a story on this is big, but I'm just giving now, if everybody can realize that we, what's our heart, you know, seek ye me, seek us first, our Hope we've cut out. Like we may have cut out just a bit. Hmm. Well, let's see. I'm going to message him and say he cut out. I'm going to say just pop. There we go. I'm gonna unmute you, Bob. I see you back. We're good. You you caught it. Cool. Can you see me? Yes, yeah. I can see you, and we're all good. I'm sorry. It it was pretty much right at the beginning of what you were saying. So if you okay. want to start everything over again, I'll just play it backwards. He is near. Yeah. 
<laughs> it, 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 all right. Um, anyway, so I, I, whenever those kind of things happen, usually that's my signal. Ooh, something really big's going on here. So mm -hmm. if everybody can wake it up, going all right. Yes. So revalue yourself, everyone, and realize just you know like before you have asked, I've answered. That to me is the universe and all the ways that I can feel the love that creates all this stuff that I am in imbued with and built on. Mm -hmm. If I can do that. And then also as I begin to make new choices, which that's what we're here for. You know, the, the, the word desire means of the father of the stars. It's different than want. And we are creating at all times. So we might as well create beautiful beauty and wonder and, you know, that which is lovely and beautiful. And I think on those things, focus on those things. So realize we are, those of us that use Young Living Essential Oils, they are the, they are pure sunlight through photosynthesis into the blood of the plant in a personality and frequency to bring a certain quality of creation of God, whatever you'd like to call it, into our lives. And thank you, Gary, for all that you've done for us. That makes me want to hug all of my oils. I'm not even kidding. I'm feeling very hippie right now, but that makes me want to just like go to my oil rack and just hug them. I'm all. with you. And, and again, me, me as well. I mean, and especially when I found Gary, uh, even though Helena was in Young Living, I was like, whatever, I've been there. And, you know, they're, my, the reason I got out of oils back in whatever it was, 60 something. Um, I got out because they weren't clean. I didn't know to say that. I just know they, some were really cool and some weren't cool at all. And I didn't, couldn't tell you why. When I found Gary's Young Living's, Gary's oils, I mean, thank God he was put on this planet so that we could keep the purity of that sunlight through photosynthesis into the blood of the plant and the mixture of many of these things into, you know, like one oil produce a result. Remember, not heal what's wrong, restore a strength of God. Let's put it that way. And now when you put two together, it's like two or more are gathered in my name and I am there among them. Or if you look at mm -hmm. sacred geometry, there's vesica Pisces, where there's the overlapping of one sphere emitting more light than the sum of the parts. And then flower of life, let's talk about that, where you begin Stop. to mix some of these things together and they, they create an entirely new community of life-giving energy for all of us. And so, I mean, you know, like I remember Vaughn, uh, Marcella Von Harding was sharing with me about layering and, you know, like, you know, use one oil and then use another and another. Well, that's like decrees where if somebody's, you know, like if somebody's gone downscale, they might have gone, well, I can't, it's hard. And then never, that, that. they may have created a series of belief systems going downscale. So the oil sometimes layered or the way they've been built by magic, I'm going to say through Gary, and many others, maybe. So, you know, the, the idea of putting these together, like thieves, I mean, come on now. I mean, luckily we found that one, but there's, you know, like a higher unity. Oh my gosh, oh golly, oh Gumphrey. Oh my gosh, what? I mean, that's all I could, I had to come up with new words. Golly. <laughs> okay, then this is the golly Gumphrey uh, cosmos that we're gonna talk about. Anyway, so like, again, something goes on and, and all the oils, but especially understanding to the complexity of the limitations going downscale, and that's what I've been studying, the oils don't heal what's wrong. No, you cannot heal a disease. That's, an, uh, that's a man-made work. It's an unease. The only thing that we can do to, to an unease to fix it is bring ease, no matter what. The oils, etc., nutrients, bring ease. They restore life. And I believe this is the way we're gonna transcend this need to be compliant to the laws of man by simply restoring life in what it's and not going against anything, just go in back to life. And only love is big enough to do that. Mm. You just um, blew my mind. Cancel. I think you saw yeah. that. Um, can't can't yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Not not in a violent right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> How about you just expanded my mind. My mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, you guys, funny story. I was, so I'm, I'm going to be speaking at something in uh, Calgary, um, Illuminate in Calgary. And they were asking me what I, what I want to name it. And it's uh, living life on your own terms and killing it is what I said. 
And then I get a message from Bob and he's like, here's just a, here's just a little, here's what I saw. Here's my thing. And he's like, you might want to think of another word or another word might be more helpful or something. He's like, be careful. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And that's whenever we decided to do owning it instead. And I'm like, how's that? And he's like, yes, now we're good. <laughs> and he's like, just be careful with that. But whenever you were talking about sacred geometry, that's something that I've been interested in for a long time anyway. But when you were talking about Vesica Pisces and flower of life and all of those things that just energetically, I've, I've, I've understood the, the forces energetically, but when you tossed oils into that, I have never in life thought of the oils being that. Like if you were to fill up those, those shapes with an oil, like if they were trays or something with oil and then put them together and then like the, you know, the, not Venn diagram, but the place where they all meet, would be like that sort of like the the center frequency that's amazing that's awesome and you know that's what they're doing the, they're I, partnering together especially <laughs> because of the design the divine design i'll leave it at that they're partnering together to restore i'm going to say to transform complex patterns into miraculous life i mean that's the only way i, I see it Man. And again, that's, you know, some people say, can you mix oils? Well, your heart will know. I mean, the you oil know. that you need, right? Yeah. The one exactly. in your hand. <laughs> oh, my word. What do we have for folks tonight? We have the, um, we have the, uh, the handout. There's the link to the handout that Bob was talking about. Uh, and that is in the description of this video itself. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to, uh, it's going to expand your mind. I'm not going to say blow your mind. It's going to expand your mind uh, whenever you read through those words and um, all of that. I'm just going to say all of that. What else do we have, Bob? Do we have anything else besides that? I can't remember because we do yeah, a lot we, of stuff. Right, right now we're in the middle of, we created some links on things that are going on. We're, we're taking our entire inventory of CDs and DVDs, which is a lot. And uh, for four months, I was looking, I was going to take everything, these flashcards that are on like the, the you know, it, it's a jump drive, a flashcard that you can put up to 128 gigs or whatever. And so I was going to move from the DVDs, all the videos, all the other jump drives we use, these flashcards. In four months, I worked on finding, come on, guys, give me a bit. And then I realized that we're not going to put them on media anymore. We're going to, we already have it built. It's completely, we've had it for years we're going to streaming, which means now my Australia team, my New Zealand team, my Swedish team, my UK team, and wherever else can now immediately become a representative of it. We make some agreement, whatever, and they can, everyone can go, oh, I'd like to study conscious language, go right here, click there, and you have it. And so, you know, it's like, the person that helped me do this goes, do you watch Netflix? Yes, I do. Do you watch Amazon prime? Yes, I do. Um, that's what you ought to be doing. You know, so somebody said the other day, it was like uh, Netflix. I'm thinking about calling it Bob flicks or mastery flicks or something because golly, I've got so much content on there. And right now it's a matter of do, how do we get it? And there was a lot of overlap. So anyway, all of our, uh, we have a thing called Core Technology. Sunday, if you can, anybody can come. We've got a call 830 Eastern on building community. We have a thing called Core Technologies. It's 50 DVDs. We're selling all those out. But I say, if you show them for free, you can show every single thing in there to as often, as many people as you choose, as long as you're in person with them for free. And it's a way to build community. So living the path of conscious language, the power of imagination, activation, uh, outcome mapping, my divine partner, now conscious prosperity, sacred body language translation, bio-optical holography, uh, conscious life series, et cetera. That's all in that. That's available. We have a ton of other stuff right now. We're closing out. So, the, so that uh, some link, I believe, is what Maggie put together for that. And also, um, I have uh, trainings coming up. I believe it's Tuesday for 11 in a row, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, for 11 in a row that you can join in. And these are hour to hour and a half, maybe a little bit longer on some. Uh, like we're doing now, deep, powerful upgrade for what we're doing. So uh, people can jump in and those links, you'll be able to share that and they can see what's theirs. Yeah, can you get Maggie to, um, or can you ask Maggie 
to send me the the link for that because I don't think that I received it. But if okay. I can get that, then I'll be able to just pop it in here and then also a separate post just in case people don't see you got it, it here. We'll do it. I want to make sure that people see it. Um, yeah, awesome. Well, you guys, this is what you can expect. We're, we're going to be bringing it every Friday. It's going to be about growth. It's going to be about new perspectives. It's going to be about um, remembering. It's going to be all of the good stuff, you guys. So, um, Bob, thanks for spending your time with us. I'm going to go get Brussels sprouts. I'm not lying. I'm going to go okay. get Brussels sprouts. So. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> right. Thank so, you, dear. See good you guys night, later. Bye-bye. <laughs>